Hi friends, I thought I'd just sit down and I'd make a quick video about my current situation going on. This isn't anything to do with the surgeries I've had or anything like that, but this is kind of a take a breath Melissa type video. And I know that some people just do not like to hear updates about what's going on with health and, and stuff. So if that's something that you don't like to hear, just Scoot along and you can watch my next video. But for those of you that are interested, I know that in the past little while I've talked a little bit about not feeling good and I didn't know why, um, but I do now. What happened to me was last Thursday, I started with some really severe back pain that was very different than any pain I'd ever felt before. It was way up in my upper back and I kept asking my husband to just go ahead and rub that and he'd give me a little bit of relief with rubbing, but not a lot. And the whole next day I could feel that kind of building and coming around my body a little bit. And by the next night, I was just in excruciating pain. I was taking Tylenol and trying to get rid of it. It'd give me a little bit of relief, but barely take the edge off of the pain. By four o'clock that morning, I woke my husband up and asked him to take me to the emergency room because I was in such bad pain. Got to the hospital and they of course start with the urine test, blood test, and both of those came back fairly okay. And so they ran a CAT scan. And the doctor came in a little while later and she said, well, the CAT scan shows that in your liver you have a blood clot that is completely restricting the vein that drains the liver. And that's what's causing you the pain. And she says, and unfortunately I have to tell you that there is also a mass in the liver next to that blood clot. And I looked at her and I said, what does that mean? She says, well, the radiologist that looked at it is pretty sure that it's cancer because of the way that it's shaped and where it's formed. So of course my husband and I are the only ones there and we just fall apart. And I say to her, um, so do we know how this happened? No. Do we know what we can do? Not yet. We're going to get an MRI. We're going to get a biopsy and then we're going to go from there and we're going to admit you to the hospital because your pain is so severe. We did feel like sending you home with that kind of pain would be very counterintuitive and that you would be back here begging us for more pain medication. So we're going to admit you and try and keep your pain under control while we do all these other tests. I said, is it for sure? She said, no but the radiologist is pretty sure. And I said, well, is liver cancer curable? And she said, absolutely. So, you know, she went out and my husband and I just clung to each other and just couldn't believe this is happening. I'm 55 years old. Um, there's no history of cancer anywhere in my family, none whatsoever. So we were kind of head upside the head. And it took them a while. Um, I did call my sister and I called my kids and um, my sister came straight down, my other, my um, son came down, my other two kids live out of state, so they couldn't come, but um, they did get me up in a room, and then when they got me up in the room, they immediately sent me for an MRI, which I was really surprised about because they were talking about, this was on a Saturday, so they were talking about not getting me into the MRI until Monday when everybody came back in, but um, they were pushing, and that scared me because if they're pushing, what does that mean? So they sent me down for the MRI and the MRI radiologist again said that more than likely, yes, it was cancer. And they were talking about wanting to do a biopsy that day. Again, I'm freaking out because they're pushing so hard to have all of this done. And I, you know, I don't know why. Why are they being so aggressive with their treatment? Which, you know, in a lot of ways it was good because I didn't want to just be left hanging. In a lot of ways it was just scary. So... Fast forward probably six to eight hours, um, the doctor comes in, the doctor that had, had admitted me and the doctor that was dealing with me, she comes in and she sits down on my bed and I'm like, oh, this can't be good. And um, she said, well, we had another radiologist come in and read the MRI a second time and he feels like there's no cancer, there's no mass. There's nothing. The way that the clot was rounded and the way that the clot was around and kind of tentacled, they thought it looked like cancer, but he has been doing this for years and years and years. And he was just like, this isn't cancer. This is not anything that we need to worry about. 
the room, the whole room with all these people burst into tears. My nurse burst into tears. My doctor had big, huge tears in her eyes. And so it was just one of those fluke things that you go through in your life and you're like, why? But at least it wasn't cancer. And at least they were like, okay, we're not gonna biopsy. We're, there's nothing to biopsy. And so it was like, whoa, wait a minute. So anyway, big tears of, of relief and joy and um, so glad that it wasn't that. But in the interim of all that, I'm like, why am I in so much pain then? And they said, because that blood clot is keeping your liver from draining and we have to really monitor that well. So long story short, I'm on extreme blood thinners. I will be on those for approximately a year. They're thinning the blood in the hopes, not necessarily that it will dissolve the clot, it will over time, but the blood has to go around the clot and be able to drain through there so the liver doesn't hurt so bad. And so until that actually happens all the way, I'm in a lot of pain and so I've got this band. So I'm down to one video a week and if I miss a week here and there, please go back and watch my other videos and give me some love and support and um, I apologize for the rant here because I know people just really don't like to see me like this. Believe me, I don't like to be like this. But I know that a lot of you are dealing with different things like this and things that just rock your world. I want you to know you're not alone. I want you to know that we're here for you and that we're trying to just get through this the very best we can. My channel is not always about fluff. My channel is about real and this is real. This is real life. Also, I know that I want to update you about my son who is not doing very well. Please keep him in your prayers as well. We just have a lot going on. So I'm gonna keep you in my prayers because so many of you comment and tell me the things you're going through. And if I don't comment back on this video, it's because there's just such an outpouring of love. And I want you to know before you even, before that even happens, that the little heart that I, sh that I give you right there where I heart your comment, that means I've completely read your comment. And I wish I could spend as much time as possible hearting those comments. Unfortunately, I just don't feel good enough right now. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of my life, supporting my channel, helping me through all of these things that I go through. Love you so much. Take care of each other, hug each other, love each other. And I'll see you as soon as I can in my next video. Bye my friends.